So this is the bread and it's called the bolo de azeite. It's an olive oil bread, but we call it like a olive oil cake. The smell is divine. It's very light. It's amazing. I cannot eat it because it has gluten, so I tried to make my own recipe. It was absolutely delicious and I'm going to perfect it. So here it is. This is bicarbonate sodium. This is bicarbonate sodium. This is baking powder. Zamtam gum. And then a little bit of salt. First I added all the dry ingredients and now the wet ingredients. I'm using half a kilo of flour, five eggs, half a cup of olive oil, but then later on you will see that I will add more because I want a, a wetter consistency, and I will add two spoons of vinegar. You will find this bread in the central region of Portugal and it is extremely light and wonderful. The smell is so inviting. It's wonderful with butter or jam, cheese. It's just so delicious and it makes a beautiful bread for Easter. This bread is made with eggs and olive oil and it is a celebration of renovation. This bread is baked on Wednesdays or Thursdays before Easter and it's a very hard bread to make because you have to really work it for approximately half an hour to 45 minutes and you have to punch it really hard. You cannot cut the dough and you have a certain things that you have to do. You do the cross on top of it and also you have to leave the eggshells next to the place where the dough is proofing. Note, but I didn't want to let it pass and so here it is. And I have a gazillion eggshells, not only from the bread. Here also I'm using a tray with water because I'm going to need it for extra moist for a gluten-free bread. And on a culture on traditional note, this bread is kneaded on a wooden box and it's baked on the community oven of the village. And voila, it's ready. How beautiful is this? It, it crumbles a little bit more, of course, it's a gluten-free bread, but I'm really happy with the result. I really pinched a little, look at that, it's missing part. <laughs> it's very soft on top, so smooth, and I, I, am, I cannot stop admiring it. It looks really, really pretty. And I'm going to make it sing. I think it's a tradition at the Libanio family that we make our bread and cakes sing. Look at this. Okay, let's try. 
it's very good bread it's very nice it it is a different texture and it is a little bit of, of more flavor of eggs and olive oil just a dash and it's a great opportunity for you to try this one served with love and bon appetit don't forget to subscribe like and comment